After six games, Bordeaux are one of only two unbeaten teams in Ligue 1 Conferama, along with leaders Paris Saint-Germain. On Saturday, they were determined to keep that run going at home to Gangon, especially with a place on the podium up for grabs. The visitors enjoying a topsy-turvy campaign so far. Three wins against relatively modest sides, Metz, Strasbourg and Lille. Three defeats, though, to the big boys at PSG, Nice and Lyon. So this was a chance for Antoine Comboare's side to prove that they can compete with the top sides in the division. Even if Bordeaux isn't a happy hunting ground for them, their last and only league victory here came back in September 2000. Just two minutes in, though, and they had a golden opportunity to open the scoring. Jeremy Toulalon going in a little bit over-enthusiastically there on Marcus Turam. Poor penalty, though, from Jimmy Brion, easily saved by Benoit Costil. That's his 10th penalty save in Ligue 1 Conferama since 2011-12, and no other keeper has done better over that period. A penalty then at the other end for Bordeaux. Francois Camano felled by Christophe Kerbera, the centre-back filling in at right-back here. Nicolas de Preville given a chance to get his first goal for Bordeaux since signing from Lille. Denied by the goalkeeper, but there was a Camano to sweep home the rebound. Two goals now and four assists for the Ghanaian in seven Ligue 1 Conferama games this season. Well, that was enough for Bordeaux to go in at 1-0 to the good at the break. The Girondin generally in control of proceedings. However, Comboare's side equalised in the very first minute of the second period. A neat one-two between Yanis Saliber and Turam. And a simple finish for the goal, even if it took a deflection off the defender. First strike this season for Saliber. And Gangon rather unexpectedly finding themselves back on level terms. It wasn't to last, though. 64 minutes in and substitute Alexandra Mondi. Restored Bordeaux's advantage. A lovely little pass there from Malcolm, the Brazilian. And the goal from Mondi against his former side. His second this season. The first of them also provided by Malcolm. The Brazilians had a hand in six of Bordeaux's at ten goals this season. And he's due to sign a one-year contract extension in the coming days. And there was even time for a third goal in injury time. Yunus Sankara with a lovely little ball in behind for another substitute, Jonathan Cafu. The Brazilian getting his first goal in Liga and Conferama, seeding a 3-1 win. And that puts Bordeaux up to third place and they're still unbeaten. Ideal preparation for next Saturday's trip to the Parc des Princes to face leaders at PSG.